Sometimes when we're watching a movie, it can be easy to become swept up in the story and acting and forget that what we're watching isn't really happening. This is particularly true when it comes to sex scenes. You know the ones where you almost can't believe the actors aren't really doing the nasty? We're talking the scenes that are so hot and so realistic that some might label it as porn. And not necessarily because of any explicit shots. Well, what if we told you that some of those hot and heavy scenes were actually real and the actors were going for it 100%? Well, for this week's top 5, we're going to take a look at cinema's sexiest scenes that were actually real. Not porn, well not really, but as close to it as art will allow. Sometimes shooting can take a sexy turn. Things can get a little hot and heavy, the actors can feel a real connection, and the sex scenes can take an unsimulated turn. Up first is the 1971 blaxploitation flick, Sweet Sweetback's Badass Song. Many film critics actually point to this picture being one of the most influential and important examples of the genre. The director, Melvin Van Peebles, also starred in this film with one of the most absurd titles ever given to a movie. Van Peebles plays the role of Sweet Pack, an orphan who works in a sex show. After the police arrest him as a patsy for murder, the innocent orphan kills two white cops before fleeing to Mexico. Along the way, he has lots, and we mean lots of sex. Supposedly, Van Peebles insisted on making the sex scenes 100% real and unsimulated. Funnily enough, after filming, he contracted a sexually transmitted disease. I mean, what did he really expect? After the film was completed, Van Peebles sued the production for workers' compensation on account of the STD he had contracted during the filming. He won the suit and was awarded his hard-earned compensation. More recently, some of the other actors in the film have cast doubts on whether or not the sex was actually real. Van Peebles, for his part, stood by his statements that the sex on screen was the real deal. The number 4 spot on our top 5 of cinema's most realistic sex scene is held by Lars von Trier's 1998 Dogma 95 experimental film, The Idiots. Dogma 95's Manifesto was a filmmaking movement created by Danish filmmakers Lars von Trier, Thomas Vinterberg, and others. It followed a series of 10 rules aimed to purify filmmaking as an art. Real sex was apparently not covered under Dogma 95's rules, as a group sex scene in von Trier's The Idiots demonstrates. Although the scene is short, you can see one couple definitely having real intercourse, as well as a man sporting a full-on erection. So yeah, Lars is no stranger to showcasing realistic sex in his film. Check out Nymphomaniac, in which porn star body doubles were used to film the unsimulated sex scene. Or, for a more horrifying take, check out Lars's film Antichrist. Next up in our top 5 realist sex scenes in film history comes the controversial 1972 picture Pink Flamingo. Oh, Mama. Oh, Mama, I want to accept your gift. Oh, Mama. Accept it as a loving son should, Mama. Oh. Director John Waters is renowned for courting controversy with his films, and Pink Flamingos is no different. Starring the flamboyant drag queen Divine, the movie features Divine as a bizarre fat woman and her family of misfits who compete with the Baltimore couple to be named the filthiest people alive. One of the most disturbing movies ever made, it even features shots of Divine eating dog shit. If that wasn't disturbing enough, well then just wait for the scene where Divine gives unsimulated oral sex to her son. Now, the actor playing her son wasn't actually related to her, but the blowjob was definitely not fake. All in all, Pink Flamingos is one of the weirdest and most bizarre films to have ever been made, and should definitely be seen at least once. Number 2 in our top 5 realist sex scenes has to belong to infamous 1979 cult film Caligula. With Malcolm McDowell of Clockwork Orange fame starring as the sex-obsessed Roman Emperor, the real Caligula had quite the reputation. So adding that character with McDowell's over-the-top performance and explicit pornographic scenes led to ruffling some critics' feathers. Most reviewers found the film trashy and unremarkable. The film has a super 70s feel to it and is worth a watch if only to know just how bizarre and explicit it gets. 
try to find the uncut version if you can, and you'll get the full spectacle with all the unsimulated sex scenes, including fellatio, ejaculation, and full penetration. Caligula is one of those films that straddles the line between art film and full-on porno. Give it a watch and thank, or curse us out later. Our final selection in this top five list of films' realist sex scenes is yet another film from the 1970s. Seriously, what was up with that decade? Don't Look Now is a 1973 film starring Jack Bauer's real-life father, Donald Sutherland and Julie Christie as a married couple who suffer a tragic loss when their daughter drowns. Their mourning is interrupted when a pair of elderly sisters enter their lives with the news that they are psychically connected with their late daughter. Christie's character Laura understandably faints at the news and is taken to hospital. The scene we are concerned with primarily takes place right after she is discharged and taken home by her husband John. Passions and emotions run hot as the couple begin to devour each other sexually. Rumors abounded for years that the on-screen sex was almost too realistic, but it wasn't until Variety editor Peter Bart wrote in his 2011 memoirs that they were fucking on camera that the truth was known for sure. 